people often ask the question, how can it be okay that we destroy the world in a way for, for future generations, that we use more resources than is fair and we harm the environment and future generations have to pay? And that's seen as a question of injustice, which I think is fair enough. But I try to turn it around and look at it from the other perspective and say, if we want to move to a more sustainable world, that's going to be difficult and it's going to involve costs. We have to give some of our pleasures up and some of our luxuries up. Why is it fair for people now to give up those luxuries so that people in the future can benefit? And the point is not to say we shouldn't do this. The point is to try and understand why people might be resistant to taking, to making the changes that are needed for a better climate situation or to prevent catastrophic global warming. What I do see is that open access is slowly changing the culture of publication. It's partly it's bringing in new people into discussions. There's more people who, who get to read stuff. Um, there, is, there is a change going on. There's a change going on away from this idea of, yeah, let's have a paper journal online and more to let's think how we can make research accessible and quickly visible. And open access is a part of that. It's kind of a, a nudge, something that's shaken things up and, and started things moving. And on the whole, I'm experiencing that as, as positive because I notice, yeah, everything's moving faster and more people are joining the discussion.